then w is less than or equal to negative 4. So then you'd have it closed and going to the left. I'm just going to keep going until someone raises their hand and flags me down. Number 2, m is greater than negative 3. So I'd be open and going to the right. So for number four, I would get zero is less than S, which I would rewrite as S is greater than zero. I really don't like when they use S's. So then I would just use like negative one, zero, and one. Open circle, going to the right on zero. How are we doing? Thumbs up? Okay. Number four, you would get negative eight is less than or equal to x, which I would then rewrite as x is greater than or equal to negative eight, just so I can use that arrow trick we talked about. So I would have closed circle going to the right for number four. <coughs> Number five, remember this is like saying plus three, so then you would subtract three, so P is greater than seven. So I have an open circle going to the right. How many people have to fix this right now? Because you were like, oh no, minus a negative, yep. That's always gonna get you. Those are the, that's the, the number one mistake. And then for number six, I would have combined these, and then I would have subtracted over here, so you would get Q is greater than three. Open circle to the right. And then we've got a little bit more complex stuff happening over here, but you would get T is greater than six. Negative six, zero, and six. Oops. Lots of greater thans on this page. And then over here I would combine these and get two A. Then I would add and divide and you'd end up with, let me make sure I got this right. Three is less than or equal to A, which I would rewrite as A is greater than or equal to three. You don't have to rewrite it. Should be filled in and to the right. And then number nine, we have some like terms over here. We've got some combining of things, but all said and done, you end up with C is less than negative 16. Open circle to the left. It should be on negative 16. Yes. Yeah. I literally had it like 16 and negative 16 at the end cap. You're going to put it on zero. I just got distracted for a minute. I know how that is. All right, we did 10 and 11 together on Friday. So for number 12, the sum of a number in 7 is less than 15. So x plus 7 is less than 15. So then you would get x is less than 8. Open circle and to the left. And then we also did number 13 together on Friday. Yeah. We did 14 together on Friday, which left us with um, 15 and 16 for the perimeters. So I believe for this one you should get x is less than 13.5. Does that sound familiar? So what would work is any value less than 13.5 could be that length, right? That would keep our perimeter less than this number. 
And then for number 16, I think I get x is less than or equal to 3. Is that right? Yeah. Seems pretty easy there. That's weird. So any value less than... Or equals three would give us that exact perimeter or something less than that. Yes. Um, can you work the sixteen out? Like the whole thing. So I have I it. I did something wrong. That's okay. So I have it here on a separate piece of paper. So I was worried that I'm going to run out of room. So I combined all of these: the six point four, six point eight, seven point nine, and I got twenty one point one plus x is less than or equal to twenty four point one. Yeah, I, I did 6.4 plus 6.4, not what you said. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. And then for number 17, um, when you work this out, you end up with x is less than or equal to negative 3. So values that would not work would be anything greater than 3. Can it be 3? It, the answer could be 3, so a non-answer couldn't be 3. This is very confusing. We could talk ourselves in circles about this. Yeah? And then for number 17, you get x is greater than negative 0 0.5. So what would be a not solution? Addison? Um. Sure. Any value less than negative 0 0.5. So negative 7 would work. Negative 4. I'm sorry? Um, yeah, negative 0.5 would work because it can't be that number. Okay. How do we feel about adding subtracting? Decent. Okay, let's go on to multiplying and dividing. Woo-wee. So for number one, I got 7 is less than or equal to B, and I rewrote it as B being greater than or equal to 7. Number 8, I got negative 2 is less than T, so I rewrote it as T is greater than negative 2. Open circle to the right. How are we doing on open and closed circles? Good, you guys got it? Expert status? Okay. So when I multiply both sides by 2 here, I get x is less than or equal to 3.4. Closed circle going to the left. P is greater than or equal to negative 6. We did number 5 together. And then this one's a little bit different. You could have multiplied everything by 2 to clear the fraction, or, and then you'd have negative 44 less than or equal to 11H, and then you still have to divide by 11. So you would get negative 4 is less than or equal to h. h is greater than or equal to negative 4. You guys with me on that one? Yeah? So then when I graph it, negative 4, 0, 4. And then this section is where you had to focus on flipping the sign, right? Because we have the dividing and multiplying by negatives. So for number 7, you would get 3 is less than A, but then I'm going to rewrite it as A is greater than 3. So that's not confusing at all, right? Does everyone understand what I'm saying when I'm like, I'm going to flip it to rewrite it so that the variables on the left... Is there anybody that's like, why does she keep doing that? This is throwing me off. 
Okay, if you're okay, I'm gonna assume you're all good with it then. Number eight, three is less than u, so u is greater than three. Open circle to the right. Yes. For number seven, wouldn't you flip the sign since you're dividing a negative number? Did I not? Well, like, because. Oh, I see. Like, right here, I didn't flip yeah. it. I just said I flipped it, and I didn't really flip it. Yeah, that's a problem. Thank you. So I would get 3 is greater than A. A is less than 3. That's going to change things a little bit. Does that look more accurate? Thank you so much for saying something. I just said it out loud and then I didn't do it. That's, that's not confusing. Okay, n is greater than negative 6. I don't have to do anything else there. W is less than negative 9. Twenty one is greater than or equal to C. Does that seem right? Yeah. So then I would say C is less than or equal to twenty one. So this gives me 25 is less than A, A is greater than 25. Raise your hand if you're not sure how I got 25 here. Like I multiplied both sides so I had negative 75 divided by, or is greater than negative 3A. And then I divide by negative 3, so I get positive 25. All right. We did numbers 13 and 14 together on Friday. So now we're talking about this situation here. So we know that the person ran 8.2 miles an hour for three hours, which means they went less than or equal to how many miles did they actually run? So this one was weird because there was no, like x was by itself and then these numbers were together, right? So you end up with 24.6 is less than or equal to x, so x would be greater than or equal to 24.6. Well, that doesn't make sense. This is switched. X has to be less than or equal to that. So then for a marathon, it's 26.2 miles. Your friend says if you continue to run at that speed, you will not be able to complete it in less than four hours. Is your friend correct? So if you can run this in three hours, would you be able to run about two more miles in four hours? I mean, yeah, barring any like major injuries, I think you'd be okay. Yeah. So your friend is wrong. And also not supportive. You don't have to put that part, but it sounds very unsupportive to be like, you're never going to do it. Doesn't sound like a good friend at all. Whew! We finished.